Okay, right guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up SPD bitstream uh, to your uh, receiver in Windows 10 okay so first step you go to control panel sound and you make sure you have a right um, sound source uh, selected uh, I have this uh, SPT out on my Realtek uh, uh, integrated in my motherboard sound card and uh, then you go to settings uh, properties and make sure you have uh, all this uh, uh, properties check uh, this little boxes to have this check mark check mark um, sadly I have um, this uh, Sony uh, BDVE uh, 6 100 receiver and it has only only DTS and uh, a Dolby Digital uh, bitstream function uh, so uh, all other options like uh, Dolby True HD or Dolby Digital Plus or uh, DTS uh, HD and stuff like that uh, it's all unavailable only if you load um, blu-ray disc uh, and play uh, videos from blu-ray disc uh, so yeah uh, make sure you looked it up uh, I think uh, every receiver has its own settings but um, First of all, you need to check those. Uh, make sure it's uh, selected here. And uh, if you want to make sure that uh, it's all uh, it's all right and it's working, just click here to test the sound. If you hear the sound, then it means it works. Okay, I chose this and you can hear the sound yes the sound also uh, I could hear and if I click this no audio so you click no uh, the same goes for f uh, these frequencies uh, same goes with these frequencies check those if you can hear them and click yes if no then click no because otherwise you will not be able to hear the sound and make sure that uh, from all all these uh, sound sources you have the proper one selected I have selected my SPDF out and I just uh, made a custom thumbnail for it so I can easily uh, differentiate it from other sources okay and now you go to your total media theater 6 and you select a film so now I'll have to switch and to my uh, phone to record this because uh, uh, I cannot uh, record uh, the actual video footage from this program with uh, OBS because uh, uh, this player prevents it from showing it on screen all right um, here is I have my uh, projector turned on I have my uh, wireless mouse turned on so uh, I launched uh, uh, Arcsoft Total Media Theater 
and I just uh, dragged it to my uh, projector screen uh, and um, now I'll show the uh, its settings that I set up. I chose uh, the sound card just default default uh, device um, uh, here I um, chose SPD and uh, uh, here I uh, chose uh, original audio only uh, all other settings I didn't touch and that's how it looks when I play um, the uh, uh, remarks uh, from my computer. I click uh, open folder the top left uh, screen then I select um, I select folder on my computer uh, here's this, uh, the avatar movie I click uh, OK and it starts playing. Um, it's, uh, this window tells me that uh, I need to uh, turn on the special panel go this main menu this thing is too loud click yes show me this message and here's I can also turn on uh, information uh, which type of audio is now playing at the moment and it says that it's DTS so well, now it's Dolby Digital, uh, Full HD, uh, about 30 megabits per second. And from this menu I can uh, choose which um, audio options uh, uh, to select. For example, here I have uh, Russian 5.1 DTS. Uh, English 5.1 DTS HD, uh, English Dolby Surround, uh, different languages, Portuguese and such. Okay, for example, I'll choose um, this English 5.1, uh, but uh, since I don't have um, uh, since I don't have this uh, option available for my uh, tuner, oh, tuner, sorry, uh, receiver. Um, this will only play in uh, DTS core. Okay, now I'll click um, OK, yes. And it should change to DTS. And yes, it changed to DTS sound. And the movie begins. Everything works fine, as you can see.